So we are done with page one. Hopefully you got that done. And now we are going to be flipping over your pocket page and we are going to be starting page two. So this is our spine. Our spine's facing this way. So we, on page two, let me show you. Here was page one. And then we're gonna flip it over. Here's the spine. So page one, page two. So this is what we're going to be creating. We're going to have this ephemera card mounted on some red, the red um, colored cardstock. We're going to have a flip here, a flip here, and a pocket here. And there's a magnet in here. Let's see, did I put two? Yeah, I put two. There's two magnets here, and it goes closes right there. And then we have a little. Um, piece of ribbon here so we know to lift this up. So first thing you're going to do, we're going to make these two flaps first. This flap and this flap. So you are going to cut both pieces five and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches tall and then you're going to score down this edge a half an inch on both sides. And I'll be adding my score tape momentarily. I forgot to do that. And the way this is going to work, one of these flaps, it doesn't matter which one, is going to be going all the way to the edge. Here's where your score tape's going to be. You're going to be adhering that down. So you're going to adhere, adhere that one down. And then there's going to be a half an inch. You're going to draw a half an inch line down here. So this is going to be a half an inch here. And we're going to add some designer paper here before we add this piece, this flap right here like that. So I'm going to get my score tape and I'm just going to adhere these down. I'm not going to be adding the designer paper. I'll show you which one to add because I'm just demonstrating how to build, build this page out. So I'll be right back. So I have my score tape on. So this first piece, here's the half an inch flap, half an inch. Here's this first flap. We're gonna go all the way to the edge here. Line it up. And pull that score tape. So that's in. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the eight by eight paper and you're going to get this smaller red polka dot. And you can tell the scale. This is 8 by 8. This is 12 by 12. And this one's from the patterns and solids. This one's from the 8 by 8. Here it is from the eight by eight, I was trying to find it. It's actually from this page. I think it's from the, the front page, but this is the eight by eight. So you're going to be getting this one and you are going to be cutting a strip that is, this is gonna be half an inch. You're gonna make a, a mark on this flap here. You're gonna measure it in half an inch here, half an inch here, and I just draw a straight line all the way down because I need straight lines. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut a strip of this, this red polka dot paper from the eight by eight, seven and not, not quite a half, <laughs> seven and 
three eighths. Is that right? Seven and three eighths? And my, my brain. Seven and a half is seven and four eighths, seven and three eighths, yeah. And then you're going to cut it five eighths of an inch wide. So a little bit wider than a half an inch. And then you're just going to adhere that piece of designer paper down here. So five eighths of an inch wide by seven and three eighths inches tall. So make sure you ink the edges. Always ink the edges of your designer paper. Get that white out. Once that designer paper is down, then you're going to get your second flap. You've got your score tape on, and you're going to adhere this on that half an inch line that you drew. Top to bottom, and then you're just going to pull that score tape. So now you have this flap and this flap. So you have your two flaps. This flap and this flap. Then you are going to be making this pocket. So this pocket So this pocket piece, you're going to cut uh, your black construction, black construction, your black cardstock, eight and a half inches in this direction, and then four inches in this direction. And then you're going to score a half an inch on three sides, and this is the, your pocket's going to fit. Your pocket's going to fit in like this. So I've already mitered my corners. You always want to make sure you miter those corners to take off any bulk um, that you have. And I like to miter um, the top of my pocket so things don't catch as they're going in. So miter those, put your score tape on. Then you put only, to start with, you only put down your bottom piece. So you're going to align this to this edge here. Get it measured top to bottom. Like that. I'm going to pull this. Now with this piece, what you're going to do, once you burnish that down, I, you can use scotch tape. Um, I like to use this black construction tape and put it down. I just think it gives it a nice, I know it's acid free. I'm gonna put that down. I hate to waste my construction tape on this demo, but I'll just show you once. Every, every other time I'm just gonna use plain old scotch tape. And let me just cut this off here. Get the wrinkles out. And now you have that smooth pocket. So whatever you put in here just slides right on through. So always do this with all your pockets. Put in this piece over the bottom flap. And then you're just going to go ahead and pull the side pieces off and adhere your pocket. Oops, I tore that. I should be using my pick tool. I do not have any nails. Anyway, so I'm gonna adhere this one side and then the next, oops. Then this next side. So now you have your pocket. So this is the base construction of this. Now we're going to have to add our ephemera card. So what I did with this one, I picked this ephemera card. And I 
the total, let's see, this total card is like the black with the black on this black outside is six and one eighth by four by four and three eighths, essentially, <laughs> essentially. But what I did is I got this card, this little ephemera uh, card, and I trimmed it down to um, five and nine, oh my gosh, five and basically put, it's five and a half plus one sixteenth. Oh my gosh, it's tiny. So you can, you can basically, I'll show you the measurements. Does it have to be exactly that? No, that's just what I trimmed it down to. Um, five and a half plus, plus one. That's the total size of the ephemera card. By three and a quarter plus one. Woo. And then I mounted the card, the ephemera card, on black cardstock. And this measures five and a quarter by oosh, three and seven eighths. So you can kind of get the idea. Basically, I just mounted this on black cardstock and then I mounted this piece on this red solid from the Patterns and Solids. And this piece comes out to four and a quarter plus four and a quarter plus two tick marks. So four, not quite four and a half. So you can see that by. Six and I mean these are all rough estimates. <laughs> I was just giving it a little bit of reveal. So I what is my reveal? My reveal from the black card stock to the other black card stock is a little bit like an eighth of an inch. So you get the general idea. You this is what you want your card to generally look like. The measurements do not have to be precise. It comes out to about four and a half by six and uh, an eighth, six and a quarter, something like that. So the ephemera card is cut down and mounted on black cardstock, and then this is then mounted on the red cardstock with like an eighth of an inch reveal, and then this is mounted on another black cardstock to give you this whole piece. So hopefully that makes sense. Like I said, the measurements do not have to be precise. So you're gonna put that all together. <laughs> Make that. So hopefully you have your ephemera card mounted. I'm just going to do a makeshift one just for demonstration purposes, but something like this. So what you're going to do with this ephemera card, so remember it's going to sit somewhere like that. You're going to turn it over on the back side. So this side facing your little elf, you are going to go find the mid point and you are going to get your yellow ribbon. If you bought the bundle from us, um, this was included, this yellow ribbon, I believe. And you are going to, what I usually do is fold it, fold my piece, fold my piece of ribbon, put my three in one um, glue, and then put a little clip and hold it in place till it dries. And then once it dries, you're going to adhere it to the back side, right in the middle of your little card. 
And I'm just going to put some um, construction tape here. So now you have your, ooh, that doesn't look like in the middle, does it? Does that look like in the middle? No. Just going to, I'm just going to eyeball it because I just going to put this, I have not done the measurements, so it's going to be like somewhere like that. There, that looks better. So there's your little flap. Next thing you're going to do on the back of this um, ephemera piece is you're going to put your two magnets. Now the magnets are your small basic gray and they are So you're going to do that for both of them. And I don't, I did not really measure these. I'm just eyeballing it. But you get the idea. So this is how the back side of your ephemera card should be. You have your ribbon, you have your two magnets put in. Once those are put in, then you can Go ahead and put your designer paper on the back of this, which is, if I have any, which is going to be this three, um, this, this from the Patterns and Solids, the blue oval. You're going to measure this about three inches down. So that's how long you're going to, it's going to be about three inches down. And then you're just going to go ahead and cover up everything here. So measure this three inches deep. Make sure you have your ovals in the right direction. They're going down like this. So you're going to measure this paper, cut it so it's three inches deep. Obviously, this is not three inches deep. I'm just showing you which paper you're going to put. So you're going to, going to go ahead and cover, have your uh, 1 16th of reveal all the way around here, and then stop about three inches in. So this is all going to be covered with your designer paper. To about right there three inches so this is all going to be covered with designer paper I don't, don't have to do that but you guys get the idea right this is going to be covered with designer paper so you have that done this is done You've got your magnets here ready to go. You've got your ribbon in and you've covered this with your designer paper with your ovals going in the right direction, which is this direction, the long way. And then you're gonna put this aside. Put that, that ephemera card aside. Next, what you want to do, you need to cover this top flap and you're going to use this designer paper this is from the 12 by 12 you are going to measure it we know it's going to be seven and three eighths inches tall and then you're just going to find the correct width and then cut it and put your designer paper down put your designer paper down make sure you ink the edges once you do that, then you can mount this ephemera card on your top flap. You cannot do that until you get that designer paper down, but it's all ready to go. So this is going to be mounted two inches from the bottom. I believe, is that what I have? Let me bring out my... actually got the whole thing put in the album now so 
this is going to be put in no it's one and a half plus an eighth from the bottom and it is about one inch one and an eighth inch from the side here so this is about one and a half from the bottom so the way one and a half from the bottom i'm just going to make a little tick mark one and a half from the bottom one and a half from the bottom and i draw my line obviously you would draw your line with a pencil and then it is it's actually sticking out i believe two inches let's see it's sticking out one and three quarters of an inch. Is that right? One, let's see, sticking out. What am I looking at? It's sticking out from this flap two and a quarter. Basically two and a quarter inches. So get to that two and a quarter inches sticking out from here. Two and a quarter. That's where it's going to be landing. Now these are not exact measurements. These are just, I want it to be sticking out and it's going to be falling about there and it's about one and a half inches from the bottom and that looks about right. So that's the way I want it. So what I'm going to do, this, what is this? This that is on the, this flap, this is, how many inches is that? It's three and three quarters of an inch. So if I flip this over, three and three quarter of an inch, three and three quarters of an inch, I know this is where I want to put my glue or my tape. My tape or glue is going to go down there. You do not want to put tape or glue over here. You've got your designer paper here. And when you put this down, you still have your designer paper is showing. So let, I'm just going to put some art glitter glue just because it goes down real fast. Normally I use my tape, but just to show you how this is going to fit. I've got my measurements, I've got it lined up and I am just going to adhere that down. And remember, you have your designer paper under here, right? So you're, this is going over your designer paper. So that is the way it's going to fit. Like that. Not, not too bad, right? Not too bad. Not too bad. Got that? So once you have this ephemera card mounted on the back on this front flap you have your designer paper over here on top of your magnets right on top of your your um, ribbon now we need to put in we put in our pocket already now we need to transfer 
magnets over to our pocket. So you do it the regular way that you always transfer your magnets. Let me see if I got some, some magnets just to show you how this is going to work. Oh my goodness. Got two magnets on here. So, got my black construction tape. Remember, you can use score tape for these transfers too. So then you are just going to transfer your magnets to the pocket. Oops. So there's my two magnets down here. Once you have your magnets transferred over um, then you can go ahead and add, add your designer paper to the, the pocket page, which is also this blue, um, the, the blue paper. Make sure your ovals are going in this direction, and you can now cover up your pocket. So now we have the pocket covered. We have our magnets underneath our pocket. We have our front flap with designer paper. The femur card is done. Our magnets are all in. I'm going to put these magnets back over here so I can use them for another project. Now all we need to do is add our designer paper to this inner flap, this flap, here, and this pocket page. So let me show you the paper that you're going to be using. So let's start with this, this inner flap of the front page. You are basically going to be getting, and bring in our book, you are going to be bringing in this. This is from the 8x8 collection. So what you are going to be doing This flap, get it in, here is, um, your magnets are here, underneath here. Cover this up so you can see better. This is what we have. We have this. So you are going to add designer paper here. This is from the 8x8 collection. This little mushroom paper. Mushroom, it's, it's this paper, only the 8x8 collection. Basically what I did is I just cut a piece out that is, um, how wide is that? It's eight, it's an 8x8 collection, so it's eight inches wide. So I use the whole piece here, and at the seam, I, I split it. So this is, you're just gonna split it at the seam, at the fold line, and then continue it on. And then I just added this solid yellow, which um, makes up about one and a quarter inch a little bit more than one and a quarter inch. But once you get the this paper in, this eight, from the eight by eight, it's eight inches wide, remember, seven and three eighths inches tall, then you're going to cut a piece of the yellow from the yellow patterns and solids, and then put that piece in here, okay? 
no problems. Then the inside. The inside is using the 12 by 12 yellow sheet. Now I broke it up right here with a little border strip from the, the 12 by 12 collection. I just want it to, to break up the yellow. So this is all from um, just cut. I just cut it. You can see kindness right here. So it was just like cut. And I added this little border strip. And this border strip, I think, is a half an inch, or three quarters of an inch. And this is from the pattern and solids. And then I just continued the yellow paper on this side. And what was left with this paper, I just basically sh shoved it underneath the pocket here. So that's what I did. So this is just all from the 12 by 12 paper. Um, I broke it up with a, a border strip and then continued the 12 by 12 paper here. And that's, that is it. There is nothing else here. We did make a little booklet that goes in here. And um, well, I'll talk about this booklet in a little bit later. But that booklet's going to go in here. This covers here, here, and this page is basically done. This is just an embellishment I added at the very end after I put the whole book together. Um, and I think I'll talk about that when we go through the final uh, embellishments. So I think we are done with page, with this second page. If you have any concerns, te text me. <laughs> Leave a comment and, and I will get back to you. But it's basically, once you've built it, it's just adding the designer paper. Nothing, nothing is hard. The hardest part is probably getting that ephemera card down, but it's not that hard. So I think that's it for page two.